Hey Marlon, how are you? Good, good. How's everything going? How's your day been? Everything, everything good. Well, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time for the interview. I appreciate it. No, no problem. My pleasure. Thank you. And uh, you were at the fights on Saturday night, supporting your teammates. Uh, they went two and one. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go Barbosa's way. Let's talk about him first. Uh, I mean, what a warrior, right? He showed so much heart. How hard was it for you to watch that? Yeah, it was hard, you know. Like my brother, and we grow up together. It's hard to see, you know. But definitely, like you said, he show a lot of heart. You can't, you can't take him away, you know. He's always gonna be there and, and try to find a way to win, to win the fight, even in a tough fight like it was for for him Saturday night. Absolutely, and and your teammate Corey Anderson got a win, and Frankie Edgar got back on track with a great performance. He did receive a lot of criticism though for the quick turnaround. Were you worried that it was too soon for Frankie to come back? No, I wasn't at all because I spar him every day. You know, mm -hmm. I knew he could just get in there and. The same he did before with Cub or Nor, or maybe finish him, you know, earlier. And Frankie felt good on the feet. He was doing good. Cub was very uncomfortable with Frankie's wrestling. So he capitalized. He, he used his striking. And I think he beat Cub every round. Nice, nice. And let's talk about your fight. Um, Jimmy Rivera was also there at the fights. Did you run into him at all or have any interaction with him? I, I, I didn't see him. I just see him on the you know, and uh, I don't want to run into him now. I want to run to him June first. That's all matter for me. You know, training is going good. I'm ready. I'm in shape, and I can't wait to put my hands on him. Nice. And and this fight has been discussed for a while now, dating back to UFC 219 in December when Cruz got injured. Now that all the negotiations are over, are you glad with the way it turned out? Main event in Utica, New York, on June first. Yes. Uh, uh, we really tried to fight a long time ago, and since when I signed with UFC, and that didn't happen, and we had another opportunity, and he, he didn't want to fight, and then February, and then he want to fight with me with five days notice, and I tried in February, and we were supposed to fight in a, in Atlantic City Saturday, and he didn't want to. He said June, he said yes, no problem. That's a guy I want to really fight, you know. Anytime you want to fight, I'm going to be down to a fight, especially with somebody you want to fight. You know? Definitely. And this is also different because, you know, it's, it's a main event. You guys were in the press conference. There will be more media obligations and all that. Are you enjoying those extra obligations that come with a big fight like this? I just enjoy the fact that I have a day to fight him. That's it. This is oh. it's big for me, you know. That's that's big pleasure fight this guy. Nice. And, and in the press conference, you guys went back and forth a little bit. You faced off with him as well. What did you make of the whole experience? Did you enjoy the, you know, the press conference and, and all that and facing off with him before the fight? Because you don't usually get to do that until like the week of the fight. Yeah, it was good, you know, but for me, just good. Uh, I just care about the fight. I don't care about anything else, you know. The most important thing for me is to get there and fight June 1st. All right, all right. And, and let's talk about the matchup. First of all, have you been impressed with him and his run in the UFC, you know, him being undefeated in the UFC and all that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's been doing great, beating a lot of guys, but I, I, I see him, like, his way was, a, I'm, I'm not saying easy, but that was his way, you know, and the way he want to fight, the fights he choose. But now uh, I choose him. I want to fight him. He had to accept, so let's test this guy and see what he made of. You know? And what makes you want to fight him so bad? Is it something about him specifically? Is it the fact that he's got a high ranking? I mean, you said you've been wanting to fight him since signing with the UFC, so why do you want to fight him so badly? I want to fight with the best. Oh. He's, he's among with the best, you know, he's top in the rankings. And I want to go out there and I want to perform and control how good I am. You know? That's it. Nice, because yeah, in your in your last fight, you had that spectacular knockout over Aljamain Sterling. How satisfying was that to you to get a win like that, especially with your first two fights ending by a split decision, a loss, then a win? So how good was it to get a knockout, like to get that big emphatic win in the UFC? 
as a fighter and, and as a fan, I, I love the knockouts, you know, I love to finish fights. So it was good to get my first finish, especially in the beginning of my career in the UFC. And I'm trying hard to go out there June 1st and get another one. Nice, nice. And, and do you feel like you started to get some respect from the fans, maybe from the newer fans that haven't seen you fight a World Series of Fighting after that knockout? Yeah, definitely, definitely. A lot of people, a lot of people supporting, you know, saying about the fights. And, but only people cares about your last fight. My last one was good. And I want to I wanna keep the ball rolling. I want to go out there, June 1st, perform. And like I said, keep the ball rolling. And how would you break down Jimmy's skill set? Where do you feel like he's most dangerous? He's a tough wrestler, good boxing. You know, he, he, have, he pushed the pace in the fights. He's a good fighter. So am I. You know, we're going to go out there, do it first, and see who's better. See who's better. Cool. And, and you train with world-class guys. I mean, few guys get to say that they train with the likes of Frankie Edgar, Edson Barbosa, Eddie Alvarez, and then you have Mark Henry, Ricardo Almeida, Nick Catone. Just such a world-class lineup. I mean, you must feel like your game is evolving on a daily basis, right? Yeah, it does. I have a lot of good training partners. You know, they push me every day we train together. But don't matter if I don't want to train hard, you know. I, I always be there. I am always there daily training hard, pushing myself. I want to get better, and that's it. You know, if you are a good fighter, but you are among good fighters, but you don't train hard, doesn't matter. Uh, I know I'm a hard worker, and I'm in the right place. Absolutely. And a couple more questions before I let you go. Did the UFC tell you that if you beat Jimmy, you're, you'll get a title shot? Uh, we are. We're right there. You know, we're close. I want to beat him, and I want to. I want to make a statement. Beat him good in a good way, and. And let my name out there, you know. Whatever the UFC wants to do, I'm going to be ready. And who do you think wins the rematch between TJ and Cody? I think TJ will win again. You think TJ? Uh, do you have a preference in who you'd rather fight should you beat Jimmy? No, I, I don't care. I just want to fight with the best. Huh. I see a lot of guys in the, in the top 10 that I've always been looking look up to. And I want to try to fight all these guys, you know. I want to fight the guys that I was young, I look up to, and before they retire, you know. I want to fight them all, and let's see what happens, and in the future, we're going to see what we can do. And when you look at 2018, I know it's frustrating because you said you, you wanted to fight Atlantic City, you know, you fought in November, now kind of half the year has passed. Is that a little bit frustrating for you? Because, you know, you, I know you keep talking about you want to fight and you want to fight. So is it frustrating for you that it took six months or seven months actually for you to get your next fight? And do you have a plan with maybe how many fights you want in 2018? I just live day by day, you know. I don't think about the year. And uh, I just focus on my next fight. And, I, I of course, I, I was pushing on the fight. But... Work out June first, so I'm thankful, and I'm thankful God, I'm thankful to the UFC for the opportunity, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing what I do every day, work hard, and show up ready June first. And how do you usually go about your training camps? I mean, do you sit down with your coaches and and break down some tape? I mean, what will your focus be for Jimmy Rivera, or do you kind of let your coaches do that? Yeah, we do all together. You know, I I, I get what I think. They say what they think. And we work hard. We work hard on my skills. Uh, I know I, I have to be ready. And I know what I have to do. And especially for this fight, I, I need to be me, you know. I need to be the best model. And this is what we're doing. We're working hard every day. And June 1st, you guys going to see the best model Morais you guys ever see. Awesome. All right, one last thing. How do you see this fight with Jimmy playing out? How do you get the job done? Hard he comes, hard I'm gonna bring back, you know. And then we're gonna see what happens. I'm right. ready and during first I'm ready to win this fight. Awesome. Marlon, thank you so much for taking time. I appreciate it. Of course you take on Jimmy Rivera in the main event. You'll see Utica in New York June first. Thank you so much for the time and best of luck. Thank you so much. Have a good night.